Good day and good morning sa lahat ng student from Grace Mission College. Um, second year student, major in mathematics and English. I'm Sir Edward F. Atalior, your PE teacher. So, remind ko lang yung mga hindi pa nakakapagpasa ng mga, ay yung ating first activity. Magpasa na po kayo para may record ko. And our topic for this uh, module or for this uh, given um, study is all about the dense education program so our objectives at the end yan nasa na ating cursor at the end of the unit the student are expected to yan cognitive pag meaning cognitive dito natin malalaman kung ano ba yung ating kailangang malaman dito sa uh, module na to first one is identify the different dense education programs in the philippines how they originated their goals and their mission and number two, distinguish other forms of dance other than folk dances based on the study of the other dance discipline. And psychomotor, class psychomotor, ibig sabihin, yan yung mga dapat nyo gawin o yung gagawin nyo dito sa module na to. Yung any activities na related dito. And yung give, uh, binigay ng teacher nyo, which is ako. So, ayan. Number one, participate in different dance activities like popular dances, social dances, mixers, folk dances, and number two, interpret the dance step combination especially for audience viewing. And affected class, dito yung uh, appreciation, yung parang sa feelings, ayan. Appreciate the different accomplishments of various dance programs in the Philippines and the Ayan, sa question natin. And the contribution they have made for the preservation of Philippine culture. And number two, last, recognize the social and cultural cultural relevance of the study of the dance in different forms. So, ayan. Ayan, class. Um, after natin malaman yung ating objectives for this module. So, dance education program in the Philippines. Brief history of dance education in the Philippines. So, ayan. Hindi na natin ito kailangan basahin ng buo pa o ng pag-isa-isahin na natin. Kasi, uh, during um, our uh, ancestor or yung mga ninuno natin, talagang may nagaganap ng mga different dances. Ayan, dyan papasok yung dance nila para sa kalikasan, dance nila sa paghingi ng ulan, or pagbasbas, dun pa lang class, ibig, sabi, ibig sabihin present na yung dance sa unang panahon so ngayon, in the further study at ito ay pinagyaman lamang ng mga, uh, mga may mga pinag-aralan about dances para ma-preserve kung ano ba yung ating um, pinagmulan ano, na sa atin ng iba't ibang sayaw ayan, kung ano ba yung tawag doon so ayun, kaya nagkakaroon ng study about the dances and after nun, pagtagal ng panahon, dumadami at dumadami yung mga different kinds of, uh, different dances. Katulad ngayon, ano ba yung present ngayon? Di ba yung TikTok which is papasok naman siya sa mga modern dance? Okay, so ayun, skip na natin to, basahin nyo lang to sa module na bibigay ko. So ayan. Ayan, dance education class with emphasis on the teaching of the Philippine folk ethnic dances is now part of the physical education curriculum of the Philippines. Big sabihin class, yung dance education, a part na siya ng curriculum sa atin sa Pilipinas. Kasi nga, um, mas kaysa elementary, uh, hanggang ter, uh, secondary, tertiary, talagang tinuturo yan. Ano? So, ayan. Significance of the, education, of the dance education. Dancing is a part of dynamic cultural expression of all societies and very individual has the potential ability to dance. The inclusion of dancing in the physical education program of school is simply 
to develop such potential intro into actual skills and expose everyone especially the youth to be many benefits of learning to dance so ayan talagang halos class um significant ng dance education talagang nagsisimula siya sa kabataan ano um may dagdag ko lang um Ngayon natin pinag-aaralan to para ma-involve sila sa magandang gawain. For example, hindi sila ma-lulong uh, kung saan man sila uh, bisyo na papaloob. And yung dance kasi halos nakakawala yan ng um, problema. May mga tao kasi na mayroong problema pero pag sumayaw sila, uh, nawawala yun. Ano? Pero yun nga, pang panandalian lang. Kumbaga. <laughs> so ayun. Pero yung focuses niya talaga kaya sinama siya sa PE yung dance ay para maging aware sila kung ano ba yung kahalagahan ng dance sa atin. So number one natin is dancing promotes personality development since people involved in dance improve their, ayan nandito na. Yan, first bullet natin grace and rhythm, posture and bio biomechanics, ayan biomechanics, ayan bulol ako bisaya gid. So, discipline, ayan. So, ito na yung class, oh. Discipline, yung third bullet natin. Dito na lang, sapat na, eh. Nakakatulong kasi yung dance para maging disiplinado tayo. Kasi, for example, may practice kayo at kailangan nyo makomplete yung step and para magkasabay-sabay kayo, doon nandiyan yung disiplina. And number four bullet natin, dedication, motivation, and determination. So, ayun. Kaya, alam niyo na kung bakit uh, belong yung dance sa Uh, curriculum natin. Self-esteem, ayan, self-esteem, wala na sa sarili, self-confidence, ayan. Self-actualization, values and cooperation, ayan. Resourcefulness, obedience, and respect. So, ayan, class, um, dito pa lang sa dance, pag natuto ka kasi ng sumayaw, kasi meron ka ng um, tiwala sa sarili mo, ayan, may dedication ka na, namumotivate ka, na kaya mo ito gawin, yan, may disiplina ka sa sarili. So, dun pa lang, uh, kaya uh, that's why belong yung dance sa ating curriculum, which is nakapalog to sa PE. So, ayan. Number two natin class, dancing improves emotional, mental, social, and physical well-being. Number three, dancing provides a happy, fulfilled, and satisfying life. Dancing improves reflexes and awareness of one's own body and the immediate environment dancing edu educates oneself and the audience during the dance during the performance of the dance so ayun so ayan yung five uh, benefits ng dance kung bakit natin siya kailangan pag-aralan at isama dito sa ating curriculum so yung pieces of dance education program the dance education formally starts early in life so ibig sabihin early in life ibig sabihin Um, meron na talaga nag exist na yung Zayaw ano? In fact, the tribal communities Children as very young age Are exposed to the dance of their communities So ayan, dun pa lamang Sa mga tribes natin, yung mga ninuno natin Ancestor natin, sabi ko nga kanina Present atong dance Ayan, number one natin class is Creative rhythm is the end Is the end product of the development of movements As children learn to move the different parts of their bodies as means of their own ideas and expression. So, ayan. Creative rhythm can be taught to the children using the following themes as basis. Ayan. Nursery rhymes, poems, songs, animal plants, movement, uh, domestic occupational activities. So, ayan. ayan. Class, uh, bata pa lang talaga. Nasisimulan na talaga yung um, about dances kung ano ba yung uh, kahalagahan nito, ba't dapat siya tinuturo and ano ba yung magiging benefits ng mga bata. So ito yung mga example na tinuturo sa kanila, nursery rhymes, poems, songs, animal and plants movements. And so ayan, uh, imagine uh, bata pa lang tayo, baby pa lang, meron na agad tayong um, uh, may nasa uh, movement, ayan, tapos meron na tayo nasasabi na kung ano, yung pala ay part pa rin ng dance, ano, kasi nakasapalob yun sa nursery rhymes, ayan, and songs. Number two natin, folk ethnic dance, ayan, folk dances are called because, so called because they have Asian origin within the community of people, hence the term folk. These dances are also known as traditional dances based on the fact Big sabihin itong folk and ethnic dance is based on the truth ano yung katotohanan yung kanilang um, 
uh, pagsayaw kung baga ay yung ethnic dance ng katutubong mangyan ayun humihingi sila ng ulan or yung pagpapala yun yun papasok yung mga ethnic in folk dances natin ano folk dances are ayan dito na tayo folk dances are sometimes repeated in ethnic dances because they are being ethnic with means being a characteristic Characteristic of particular group of people So ayan, yung folk dances class Ayun nga, sa mga different uh, tribes Yan, pasok yan, pasok yan dyan Ayan And number 3 natin class Social and ballroom dance Social dances are usually done Done to introduce people attending a formal social gathering In each other or welcome guest to a social gathering Ayan, social and ballroom dance Ito medyo high class na to class ano? Social and ballroom dance Kumbaga, present to soon sa mga, mga gathering Ayan, mga events na kailangan ng Katulad nito yung mga matatanda Ayan, yung kinahiligan nila before na uh, May mga uh, Bawat event ay merong mga dance Yun nga, which is yung ballroom dance And number 4 natin class is re Reactional Recreational dances Ayan, recreational dances are Informal kind of dance performed in a formal atmosphere. Dance are done merely for fun and enjoyment. It is include square dance, dance mixer, line dance, circle dance, game dance. Also, oh, reactional dance. Ito yung class yung present sa may mga outing. Yan yung mga team building. Ayan. Tapos mga bonfire. Ayan. Yan yung babasok yung mga reactional dances. Yung manakaform kayo ng uh, mga line, circle, ayan. And number five natin, creative dance, is a highest pace. Ayan, highest pace in the dance program. Original dance spice, spices, pieces, or ayan, ano, are created by the choreographer. Ayan, choreographer. Ibig sabihin, creative dance, kailangan na dito yung mayroong choreographer. Dito rin papasok yung mga street dance, mga ganun, street dancing, Yun, pero basta meron siyang choreographer The purpose of creative dance is entertaining Creative dance are basically class as particular dance That is performed for viewing by audience And requiring the dancer to undergo diligent and ex extensive training Ayan, extensive training in particular dance discipline So ayan, ito talaga kailangan ito ng... Um, Choreographer and papasok dyan yung pusbusang pag ensayo trainings para ma-perfect nila yung uh, kanilang step na kailang, kanilang ipiperform. So, ayun, creative dance yun, ha? So, ayan, after nung mga dances na yun, mga creative dances and etc., ito yung chapter test ninyo. Yan, test 1, matching type. Match the column A in column B, write the letter of the answer on the blank before each number. So, ayan, uh, since tayo ay true online, or pinapasa nyo true online yung sagot ninyo, uh, kung ano yung sagot nyo dyan, sulat nyo sa papel, lahat yan, tapos, uh, picture nyo lang kung ano ba yung sagot ninyo. Pasa nyo sa akin, and that's it. And, test to discuss the five phases of dance program. Yun, yung diniscuss natin, na Kung ano lang yung nalaman nyo, class, ha, discuss the five phases of dance education program. So, ayan, dito na tayo. Sa various dance forms. Forms other than folk dances. Ayan. The area of dance and dance forms are so broad and dynamic that placing dances into various classes could rather be difficult as one dances may combine elements of various forms. And there are other styles involving. So dance is not a limited interpretative dance, folk dance, social dance, mixer, and creative dance alone and it is therefore necessary to study the dance, is disip the dance discipline based on certain criteria and based uh, especially for beginners of the, the education. So, ayun ha. Dance forms broad dynamic. Ibig sabihin, talagang malawak itong dance na to. Yung ano ba yung sayaw, ano ba to. Ibig sabihin, marami siyang cover. Kahit sa kanta na no, ko-cover niya. Kasi nga, magka, uh, magka ano sila, magka-ugnay. Okay. So, ayan, participation, ayan, participation, and spectacular dances. Ayan, number, uh, in the broad dance scenes, dance could be classified there as dance for participation and dances for viewing by spectators. Spectators class, yan yung nanonood, 
uh, yung nag uh, nag uh, nagko-comment, ayan, nagbo-broadcast, ayan. Sp uh, participation dances, ayan. Una natin participation dances are the host of dance forms which are easy and simple done by anybody without and without the need of special training and costuming. Ayan, participation dances, ito yung parang literal lang na uh, simple lang yung participation dances. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya kinakailangan ng uh, puspusang training, ayan, ng magandang costume. And next is spectacular dances. Ayan, spectacular dances, there are dances especially for viewing by the audience such as dance as usually choreographer. Dito spectacular class, dito na kailangan ng choreographer, kailangan synchronize sa inyo sa inyo, like XB Jensen, kaliwa, kaliwa, kanan, kanan, ayan, dapat doon na yung papasok. Ano, kahit yan ay mapajas, uh, dances, uh, classical dances, ballet, ayan, dito papasok yun, yung spectacular dances, yung kailangan ng choreographer. Ayan nga, number one natin, sa so spectacular dances is ballet, is a theatrical dance, a representation with geographic or drama and ballet. Dito yung ni-interpret nila, Inter uh, presentation of geographic or drama platform integrates music, dance, and stage design. Dito uh, present lahat, may choreographer ka, um, music, background music, tapos uh, stage presence, design, and yung choreographer. Okay? And din na natin kailangan pag-isa-isahin yan. Kung sino may naka-invento niyan, basta alam natin kung ano ba yung bali. Next natin class is modern dance. Modern dance, which is also called ten, contemporary dance, is theatrical uh, dance form of competent contemporary approach, technique, or style, hence the term. Ito yung modern dance, ito yung present, lalong-lalong sa kabataan, kung ano ba yung, uh, ibig sabihin, pag sinabing modern, ano yung bago, ano yung in na step ngayon, yung ginagaya nila. For example, sa TikTok, uh, present yung mga different music na kailangan lang natin sabayan ng mga uh, different step or emotion, yun tinapapasok ninyo sa mga modern dance. Okay? Next natin class is just dance. Uh, just music or just dance is actually uh, originated at the close of 19th century in the dance halls and brothels of the American South and Midwest among the descendants of newly bred African slaves. But rich it is Paul developed in end World War I. Just music is a European music mixed with African beat. So kaya sinabi siyang just music is mixed by a European music and African beats. Ibig sabihin, nag-combine sila. Ano? And present ito pa nung uh, World War I. Ibig sabihin nga, class, ayun nga. Uh, ibig sabihin lang yan, present na talaga yung different dance nung unang-unang panahon pa. At sabi ko nga sa ating mga katutubo. So, ayan. Ayan. Just dance is team. Ano sa yung cursory ko? Nawawala. Asa na? Ayan. Just dance is in from this music style and popular dances of this dedicates being a popular dance developed that the time bleeding elements of Afro Caribbean and American European. Pag sinabing just dance class present yan yung American and European. Ibig sabihin sila yung combine. Hindi na natin kailangan yan. Next is step Dance, although not as a popular in the 18th, uh, 19th century and the early part of 20th century, tap dance, there are more popular terms for step dance. It is for entertainment, uh, dance where dancer tap their heels in twos. Ito yung nag nagawa na ito eh, ng mga Pilipino, yung pong sumali sa Pilipinas katalan, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, yung paan nila o sapatos nila yung ginagamit. Ito yung step dance, yung pinag-uumpog nila, tinatap nila sa sahig or sa floor para magka-create sila ng different sounds and together with their uh, synchronized step. Okay? Yun yung tinatawag na step dance. Next is dance sport. Dance sport is a new term of competitive ballroom. Dancing is inter international style. It is combination of technical and ability of Elegance with result in performance in performance. So ayan, ito is a uh, competitive ballroom dancing. Kumbaga, dance sport is a uh, pinagsama ng uh, ballroom which is ginawa lang nilang modern. Kumbaga, 
ano kasi yung mga dance sport ngayon usually ginagamit na nila mga modern music, modern um, steps and combination kaya sinabing siyang dance sport ibig sabihin pero itong dance sport na to ay nagmula o oh, kahawig talaga ng ballroom dancing so ayan So, yung Table 1, International Styles of Dance Sports. Ito yan. Dance Sports, we have two types of dance sports ata. Um, first one is Latin and Standard. So, tama. Yan. Ito yung Latin. Ang pinapalob ng Latin, um, yung cover ng Latin dance sport is cha-cha, rumba, sumba, rumba, sumba, eve, and paso doble. So, ayan. Yun yung mga competitive uh, dance sport ngayon. Present yan ngayon na. At sa inter... Uh, Uh, although, ah, kahit sa international and local Next is standard Waltz, tango, foxtrot And Dionys, waltz and quick step Ito yung nakapalob sa standard Ayan, table to natin American style of dance sport Ito naman sa America naman talaga um, Rhythm dance uh, Papasok din cha-cha, rumba, mambo East coast, sweep Swing, bolero, ba bolero. Next is smooth dance, waltz, foxtrot, and tango, vinyl waltz. So pas, parang ano lang din, magkapareho. Kaso nga lang ito yung ginagamit ng mga American. Lint hop, ito yung swing dance, east coast swing, west coast swing, east and west. Okay. And if Charleston and club dances is salsa, or magkawain ko ano yung ibig sabi nila jan, ang term nila jan, salsa or chalsa. Hostel and nightclub two-step. So, ayun yung mga different types of dance sports. Pep dance. Ito, pep dance natin class. Popular dance are constructed as pop dance into a form of social mixing. Mixer developed and performed by the younger generation as the product of contemporary Western and popular culture being a form of pod and creative style changing such a much like passion and have a tendency to be revived and modified. Pop dance class, kumbaga dito papasok yung mga uh, combination ng pop step and pop music. Kumbaga, revision ng mga old style to modern. Ano? Yung mga pop dance and pop music. Diyan yung papasok. Kumbaga, rev revision nila, pina binubuhay nila kung ano ba yung pop dance. Tapos, uh, so, ngayon, ngayong uh, sa atin at present, ito yung mga kanilang nire-revive yung mga step, mga old step na ginagawa nila ang modern na galing pop dance. Okay? Next is theatrical dance. Theatrical dance, uh, 20th century socialist popular dance as well. Innovation is ballet and modern dances influence in a growth. Asan yung aking cursor? Growth of dance in motions, pictures, and musical. Dito, theatrical, yung kay Lea Salonga. More on dito talaga yung mga Uh, kung ano yung kinakanta ng singer o yung theatrical artist singer, yun yung reactment ng mga characters dun sa theater. Ano, kung bagay sabihin, theater. May teatro to. Okay? Next, classical dance, drama, music, dance are closely related in Asia. Dito sa classical dance, ito yung symbolic ng mga drama, music, yung combination ng drama and music. Uh, parang magkawig sila nito ni theatrical dance. Frequently relying on symbolic gesture. Ito naman, mga symbolic gesture yung present dito. Um, walang symbolic yung sa hand, gumagamit sila ng hands or uh, combination ng tao para makaform ng ibang symbol, ng sim symbols. So, ayun. And emotion. Yan yung kinasabing classical dance. Ayan. Uh, hindi na natin kailangan itong basahin. Napakahaba niyan. Bibigyan na. Yung cultural dance, dance performs is consisting a concoction, concoctions of jazz, folk, and and fused folk or current popular dance step or com accompaniment of either traditional and popular music performed by the Filipino. So cultural dance, kung ano ba yung culture nila, yung pinapakita nila dun sa lugar nila. Eto yung ano ari? Dito sa atin may street dancing, pero yung uh, kanilang sayaw is related to Banso Dinyo. For example, ah, taga Banso, or dun sa Gloria, Kawayan Festival. Yun yung kanilang sinasa, ah, pinapayawating sa culture, cultural dance. Dun pa lang sa costume or in enactment, alam na natin kung ano ba yung pinagdidiwang nila. Ayan, next, aerobic. Aerobic dance or aero, aero dance is a form of exercise which is characterized by brisk, brisk 
movements thus increasing the oxygen demand by the muscle at work. Ito naman aerobic, ito yung papasok din yung mga meditation. So ayan, uh, relaxation, um mag-isa ka lang diyan, pwede kang sa bahay o pwede kang may session, ayun. So aerobic kung big sabihin, uh, exercise is characterized by brisk movement just increase oxygen demand. Kasi dito ka um, parang nire-relax mo yung katawan mo, parang nire-refresh mo. And number one at is limbering exercises. These are, asa na? Aking cursor, nasa na aking cursor? Yan, these are composed of line stretching exercise design is improved joint flexibility. So, ayun, um, ina-stretch mo, for example, ganyan. Yan, um, flexible, kailangan mong i-stretch yung katawan mo, arms, and etc. Next is number two is warm up routine, walk, running, and blending routines that start from slow and gradually accelerate. So, ayan, warm up routine. Aerobic dance proper, it is, is a main part of the whole dance exercise, which is a composed of figures of rest dance steps. Ayan, yun nga, ito na yung pinakang buo ng aerobic, uh, kung ano ba yung aerobic dance proper. Number four, cool down routine. This is much like as a warm up. But it's reverse. It is start from rest and slowing, giving time for the breathing and ayan. Cool down. Ibig sabihin, um, pakalma ka na nyan. Ano? Levering routine by just repeated to end and hold exercises. Ito yung uh, natapos mo na, tapos uh, babalikan mo utay-utay. Ano? Okay, cool down. Kumbaga. Next is rhythmic gymnastic it is a broad uh, broadest since is system of physical exercise used for therapeutic educational purpose gymnast present na to sa mga competition sa mga school um, for example kahit even sa college lalong lalo na sa college mataas yung competition ng gymnast ano i think gumagamit sila ng platform which is yung malambot parang rubber um uh, tapos uh, combination or um, yun nga, combination ng music, um, steps, tapos yung, may rules kasi sila eh, pag na-meet mo yun, yung combination, for example, yung tumbling mo, yung rotation kung ilan, so ayun, gymnast gumagamit sila ng mga bola, mga tela, for example, ayan, para magmanday ka ng presentation. So ayun, after niya natin malaman, eto yung ating, um, sa chapter test, test 1, Identification, yan, identify nyo lang yan Kung ano ba yung nam, nam, uh, tinutukoy dyan Nandun naman yan sa taas And aside from the two activities class uh, Pag nag-meet tayo, ibibigay ko kung ano yung gagawin nyo dyan O papabunutin ko kayo kung alin dyan yung gagawin ninyong uh, different dances For example, uh, modern dance ang nabunot mo, yun ang ipiperform ninyo And by group yan ha Since uh, hindi pa tayo nagkikita, pag nagkita na tayo at pag nag-actual or nag-orientation tayo sa subject ko, doon ko ibibigay kung ano yung uh, gagawin nyo dyan. So, but now, yung dalawang activity lang muna na nandyan sa ating module. So, I hope na may nalaman kayo sa ating module for good, uh, good for 3 weeks and have a nice day. Bye-bye!